Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Today I'm just going to show you how to delete a shitty extension of Chrome. This one. Cookie on off. That is really annoying because it never goes away and you may try by deleting it the whole folder but it doesn't work. So you have to go to the registry and delete it from there and other stuff. I found some help on this side, on this page here. Installed by Enterprise. You don't have even the the trash bin to delete it, so it's really annoying. So first of all, I'm just going to add this on Chrome. This shit again. And like you can see, it is here. Now what I'm going to do is just Ah, I can delete this. I can delete it this way. Okay. Now, what what happens is that you have to to find this one, the ID. You have to go in the uh, developer modality and copy this one, the ID of the app. Just search for reg edit. That is the registry modification here. What you're going to do now is to find this ID here. Now, what is going to happen is to close the Chrome, delete this one, yes, try to, to find another one because maybe there there's some other stuff too. Delete this one too. Delete everything related to, to this shit. And it shouldn't be any other stuff. Okay. Now what you're going to do is just go to... Let's find out. It was on the folder. On the extension folder, and you should have an app data. I'm going to put this link in in the download, so you in the description, so you can you can find it easier. Okay, now I have Windows Seven, and I'm just going to copy this one, local app data, and just open a, a folder, write it here, go and find out Google. On Google, where the fuck is Google? On Google, you just go to Chrome, user data, default extensions and here you have to delete again the, the folder named by the ID so delete this one in my case is this one but it may be another one in yours just delete it and last but not least you have to go to this machine group policy machine go to this and delete the file that's there. Actually mine there there's no more but it will be a file called registry.pol here. You just have to delete it and everything is set it up again and you wouldn't have it anymore. This was a long video to explain this shit but I really am really furious with this this people because uh, I mean, you. I like Windows because you have the possibility to to manage things, but you feel like you do, you don't have the power to make things when you have this kind of stuff. Okay, guys, that's all for this time, and see you at the next video. Bye.